Pissed off. Hey, what's up? So there's been a catastrophic meltdown in the Nista facility. My shit's all screwed up. This may be the last time you ever see me, at least in this state. So if that is the case, you know, it's been real. It's been fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, I got this thing and it's like way too big, you know, just like just like entirely not going to fit in my setup. <laughs> So, uh, you're going to get stills. I'm sorry about that. We just got to power through, you know? I know it's not as fun, but it is what it is, right? Outer box, front and back, inner sleeve, front and back, inner box, front and back, and side. It's very nice. Um, the inner sleeve is, like, hyper thin. So, you know what that means, right? It's better to frame that bad boy up. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, figures within all look pretty good. Uh, Shockwaves, shockwaving. Megatron's looking sick with his silver paint. Holy crap. And Soundwave's also looking pretty good. Uh, he's got new pops of silver here and there, Cybertronian laser beaks here too. So yeah, I'll go over all of them individually right after you guys do all the YouTube stuff. Sorry about this. Uh, it's just, it works, you know, it, it does, it gets people to do things. So <laughs> unfortunately I have to ask. Um, uh, yeah, just uh, here it is. Anything you see on screen right now, greatly appreciated. Uh, also questions at stuff. Uh, send your toy or collecting or just general questions to that email. I may read them on a big compiled Q&A video if I get enough of them. But yeah, just going to leave this part on screen right now for a few more seconds. Um, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks a bunch. And away we go with Megatron. So he's beautiful for starters. Let's not let's not discount how beautiful he is. I mean, the face isn't, you know, I don't I'm not a big fan of the face that they've put on this figure. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird, right? It feels both too bloated and too thin at the same time somehow. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird one. Every time I see this head, I just go, ugh. <laughs> ugh. I've, I've got so many problems with this Earth style, in quotes, Earth style head that they've put on the War for Cybertron trilogy Earth version of Megatron, you know? Is there is there a better word for that, by the way? Uh, you know, the ones that were spawned from the initial War for Cybertron trilogy Netflixy Megatron mold? Or do I have to say that whole mouthful every time I want to talk about one of these Megatrons? Because if so, that's like a huge bummer, you know? And a uh, double bummer because I want to go over all of them in like a great big compare video. And I just don't know what to call them, you know, <laughs> for the title and the thumbnail or just talking in general. I just don't know what to do. I, I don't know. Help me out. But yeah, I'll get the good out of the way up front. Um, I love the paint. It's great. It's beautiful. And that's about it. <laughs> my, my copy's arms will not snap into place. Um, one even fell off right out of the box. It's like something's fundamentally wrong with this guy. <laughs> is this like a widespread thing that you guys have seen or is it just mine? Let me know. Legs are loose. The backpack refuses to lock in. It's such a mess. It's just like, oh my God. Real bad, real bad release. At least, at least for my copy. I did bend the hell out of his back spinny inner rotation joint and it worked for like a second, but then it just popped back out. So <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what he's like by the time I get around to doing the video, but you know. Not great. But yeah, at the time of writing the outline and like messing with the toy before I record this whole thing, um, he's finding himself landing squarely in the busted pile. Like for real. Like I don't know what to do with him. <laughs> it's sad, but you know, what What can I do? Um, I got to hope the other two are good, right? Let's let's <laughs> let's get to them quick. Um, yeah. So here he is with some other stuff. Nice. Here he is with the other uh, Earth mode Megatron. Look at this. On top of me hating him and also him not being very good, he's yellowing. Can you believe that? Like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, let's, let's move on to the other two. Here we go. Soundwave. Here we go. Beautiful. He's a great looking Soundwave. Um, visually, world's better than the Siege one. And some nice changes from the Walmart one. Eyes are a little dark for my liking. He's got a bit of a permanent A stance, you know, which I feel like is just a misassembly issue because uh, here he is next to the Walmart one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me if you see the difference or if I'm crazy. The shoulder gun's got beautiful red dots painted up there. Uh, I could have swore the other ones had this, but nope, they don't. It's a Mandela effect just for me. His yellow chest apps are now bronzy gold, which is ooh, just ooh, chef kiss. Oh my goodness, chef kiss. Yes. Yes. And also the addition of silver paint to the arms and feet is just like so appreciated. Here's a side by side with the Walmart Netflix one. And yeah, subtle changes, but you guys are seeing the ace dance, right? Is it, is it just me? Let me know if I'm crazy. Let me know. Laserbeak's pretty good. He's got the tiniest Decepticon logo known to man right on his head. It's pretty cute. Pretty adorable. Pointy butt cheeks are great. Triple butthole. Wings are sick. Yeah, he's a pretty good, pretty good laser beak, you know? Here he is compared to some other laser beaks. Pretty cool. Uh, here they are all together. Master and Bird. Yep. Here he is with some other figures. Nice. Here he is with the previous sound waves. Pretty good. And here he is with Lord Megatron. Yep. 
on to, <laughs> on to Shockwave. Here we go. Yeah, he's looking sick, man. Oh, uh, this is actually the whole reason why I got the box set. I'm gonna try to make this as concise and easily digestible as possible. Okay, here we go. He's purple. His hands are purple. His chest is purple. You know what I'm saying? Uh, best shockwave of the three, for real. And also best of the three pack, in my opinion. I almost said IMO, IRL, OMG. But yeah, I do mean that. He's the best of the three pack. And uh, so if you can get him cheaper than like a hundred bucks for the whole three pack, then yeah, I'd say definitely hop on that because this is a good, a good ass sound wave. Oh, uh, no, Freudian slip there. Because this is a good ass shockwave. Hell yeah, bro. His light grays are delicious. His clicks are popping. His backpack is great. His light piping's unbelievable. Hands have a subtle metallic sheen to them. And best of all, he's goddamn clean, you know? No awful splatters or dirt or nothing. I heard some people say that he shouldn't even be on the bridge when they're coming to Earth, but, you know, that's boring. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad we get this shockwave. This is my favorite of the three packs, so, uh, yeah, if you don't like it, don't buy it. But if you do like it, and if you do like the look of it, oh my gosh, you're gonna have a great time. Best of the bunch, what can I say? Here he is with some other stuff. Sweet. Here he is with the other two shockwaves that have been repaints of this, and maybe one more. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. And here they are all together. Man, what a great three pack, you know? They also came with a throne, and man, could they all use it with like varying degrees of success, you know? Ah. <laughs> uh. But yeah, that's it. That's one of them I got. The Dramatic Capture Series Nemesis Bridge. Also series. Um, <laughs> you guys you guys doing more of these? Who else are they going to make? Who else Who else is there? Um, I don't know. Here's hoping they're all better than the Megatron down the road, right? But yeah, the Shockwave was worth the whole box. Um, super into this Shockwave. <laughs> and you know, uh, the throne's pretty cool. But like, are they just going to keep including thrones with every special set? <laughs> like, I'm sure that won't get old, you know? As I stare blankly at my ever-growing mountain of Prime trailers. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. But anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment on Instagram, Twitter. You know what to do. And that's it. Uh, it's been real. Goodbye. <laughs>